to help our children uh, face the future, we're going to have to instill in them a love of learning and a love of change. Um, and that comes from a deep sense of curiosity. Now, obviously, every child asks questions all the time, and it can, it can blow your mind. Um, and, why, and we, why, why? Especially yeah, exactly. if you have children at about three years yeah, of age. Yeah, three, four, <laughs> five. And, and of course, that's a, that's a sort of phase to get, to get through. But you don't want to, you want to morph that into deep curiosity about how the world works. Um, and, and not just a, a push to find one answer. That's not deep curiosity. Deep curiosity says, but why? Why does it work that way? Why doesn't it work that way? And to just keep pushing, and this is the greatest gift we can give them, is to not shut those questions down. If we want future-proof children, we cannot shut down curiosity, which is what happened to a lot of us between the age of seven and 17. Something happened. You go into a primary school and you deal with the grade one and grade two classes and you speak to them and say, who would like to tell me a story or who, who would like to volunteer to help me with something? And all the hands are up. Me, 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 me. And by grade seven, there are no hands. And by grade seven, sadly, but you know, certainly in high school, everybody's kind of pretending they're not in the room anymore. How did that happen? What happened there? And, and if we can build this love of learning and this deep level of, of curiosity about how the world works into our children. One of the best ways to do that is for you to be curious, um, and particularly to be curious about the future. 